In this video, I'll, I'll introduce a commonly used tool to create more edges and points. It's called the loop tool, and that's if I wanted, like I have this horizontal row of points here looping around the object, and one here, suppose I'd need another one, a third one. What I can do is go to Mesh, Create Tools, and then Loop Path Cut. Um, now that's a lot of clicking. So, but all of these tools have a keyboard shortcut. Next to Loop Path, you'll see K tilde L or M tilde L. So either one works. So what does it mean? If I hit the letter K on the keyboard, the, um, the choices for the, the cut tools will come up. So just think K for knife. So let me click off of this. So I'm going to hit the letter K. And there I don't got to remember and uh, memorize everything. Just know that K will get me to the cut tools. So I went to loop path cut. So that tells me hit the letter L. When I hit the letter L and I cursor over the object, you can see plainly that the loop uh, where I want to put it will appear in white. And let's say I want to place it there, so I'll click once and it turns amber. The slider appears with the loop tool as long as it's selected. The, what the readout is telling me is it's saying 60.199%, right? That's in the negative direction. So what Cinema 4D did was it measured the distance between this edge and that edge and tells me that it's six, about 60% um, in the negative direction on this, this section. <clears throat> so I can grab the slider if I want to. If I move the slider towards the positive uh, direction, it'll move up. Move the slider in the negative direction, it'll move down. Uh, so that's just to give you some precision on where you want to place this loop. When I'm happy with it, remember to get back to the selection tool is to hit the space bar. I'll hit the space bar. I'm back in the selection tool, and now I have all of these points uh, available to me. You know, this this new edge with all the points um, are there for me to, to edit. So that's the loop tool. So to, to re, uh, review, hit the letter K to get to the, all the cut tools, and it'll tell you what you need. L for loop. Position the loop anywhere you want on the object, and if you wanted to, you can move the slider to adjust the um, adjust the position of the loop. 